What is going on my peeps man Versal is back with another video back here to talk about Samsung Galaxy Specifically Samsung and the apps that they drop that you can use to empower your phone Basically what I mean by that is you can boost your phone's performance while still saving battery life and that is via Galaxy Labs very similar to good lock except this is more on the maintenance side for your phone so before we get into the video i will be using the s21 to showcase the apps one app is not available it's either an app or being able to boost your phone usage is not available via like before one ui 3.0 so just keep that in mind when i get there but if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like the like button on this video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you never miss my videos then we can sit back chillax and see what's cracking now let's get into the video and the first thing we're going to get into is the app so if we go to galaxy labs as you guys see here we have the battery tracker now simply put this is another way for you to track your battery throughout the day or throughout the week once you click on it and by the way when you install it it's going to prompt you to still like tap here to finish installation it will still work prior to that but just do that anyways but as you guys can see here how my battery has been using it shows you the battery level and the screen on usage and based on here uh, the most used on this phone at least today anyway has been one ui the software itself basically standby mode now it's also showing screen on time but it's not showing me exactly what that screen on time is looking like now if you look at active time 32 minutes on one ui 14 minutes on instagram like I don't really spend too much time on my phone like that but the nice part about it is if you click on last seven days it shows you your battery usage over the course of the last week's worth of time it really give you like a gauge as to how your battery has been faring has it been failing have you been using it a lot do you remember that when you look at your battery life of course you can click on that day and it'll show you the usage of your phone and so that's something that is neat for battery tracker so it's a little more in-depth detail outside of the battery care where it also shows you your battery usage so now once we get out of battery tracker we go into battery guardian once you click on that this is where you can start to save battery life so in my case i have app power saving on for apps uh, specifically see when battery draining app has been found app will be put to sleep automatically to extend your battery life so YouTube music has been found to be draining my battery in the background when I'm not using it and the phone has automatically put it to sleep doesn't mean you can't reawaken it by just going to activate the app but when you're not using it it smartly deactivates the app for the time being or basically puts it to sleep when you look at the screen power saving if you click on that you can actually exclude certain apps from being in power saving mode in terms of the screen time so how fast will it actually dim your screen or even screen time out and of course for me i have youtube youtube music and zoom excluded because those apps i like using with the screen on so those will just pay attention to my regular settings i have for screen timeout now you can also power save during your bedtime so it will optimize the limited performance during sleep which is nice because if it can gauge when you're asleep during that time period a lot of stuff won't be running thus you'll save battery over the night so you don't have to worry about leaving your phone on the charger overnight if you don't want to because of that specific feature right there and then of course you can extend battery life if you click on that you can actually have specific things cut on or cut off so that way it will maximize your power usage so because this phone has 120 hertz this can cut it down to 60 that'll save you battery life you can change your screen timeout settings from whatever you have minus 10 minutes to two minutes and you can have dark mode automatically cut on because in samsung's case with a lot of its dark mode it is actually dark or black because of the amoled display so you'll save battery that way as well now outside of battery saving you can boost the performance of your phone by boosting the apps and that's in galaxy app booster so once you click on that as you see it says checking device right you can improve performance by up to four percent now that's because i've already done it and initially it's say between like 12 and 15 percent most likely and again that's dependent on your phone and the apps you have on your phone and how much it needs boosting but that's what i've seen whenever i've had to optimize my phone and it will also prompt you when you've restarted your phone several times or if you've had a recent software update of some kind whether it's a big firmware update 
or your security updates, your monthly security updates. And so as you guys see here, runtime approximately four minutes or depends on device performance. And then you can optimize applications only used in the past 30 days. That will speed up the process of optimizing those apps. And, and, and that way you won't have to sit here and watch it go through every single piece of app that you have on your phone. So that's also really nice. And then as you guys see, I optimized six days ago. We suggest you run the Galaxy App Booster right after an OS upgrade and after that once per week to maximize performance. Some applications may be restarted and your device may heat up during optimization. So for me, I'm probably going to end up optimizing my phone tomorrow. That'll be seven days, basically every Monday for me. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm saying that as if I'm about to upload this video tomorrow, I'm not. Now, the next app, this is where you can get more performance out of your phone as well. And that is through Thermal Guardian. This is, will gauge your heat, basically, uh, the, your phone heating, your CPU heat. And what you can do in that is actually increase the thermal threshold by basically 2% Celsius. So if it runs hotter, that means it will process more of a process. It, that's what will actually take advantage of enhanced processing, basically, on the phone, is if the phone can run a little hotter, that way it, will, it won't throttle and you'll get more performance out of your phone that way. And you can also gauge and see how often does your phone get hot. And as you guys see, mine stays in that median range right there in terms of the threshold and the temperature. Uh, and if you check the CPU, it again also kind of shows you the same exact thing. If device's temperature is higher than threshold, device may slow down. After cooling, device down performance will automatically return to normal. So it still runs it smart. It's not going to allow you to just burn up your phone, but that's where you can have just that little bit more customization to get the most, eat the most out of your device. I'm actually interested to see and use these same apps on the tablet. The Thermal Guardian is not available on the tablet, and that's because I believe that is for One UI 3.0 and above, or at least at least One UI 3.0. It might be 3.1. So that's one of the things that I do not see on the tablet. And then uh, going into Memory Garden, it's basically like memory within the uh, device care in your settings. When you click on Memory Garden, you can come in here and actually put, uh, you know shut down apps if you really had to so as you guys can see you can clean out a bunch of stuff if you had to you can go in here and prompt specific ones you want to and that's pretty much it right there like if you click on ooh, well <laughs> there's nothing else to really show you guys from this other than <laughs> settings and settings has nothing there so that is the memory garden and that is galaxy labs in a nutshell for now they are always if not updating constantly adding different little lab apps or good lock apps to uh, really give you that customization and, and personality to your phone, to your device. So that's something that I appreciate with Samsung. I just hope that some of this can be baked into its actual settings. So you don't have to download stuff after getting the phone. It's already a part of the phone. So let me know down in the comment section below, what did you guys enjoy or will you guys be using the Galaxy Labs? You already use it. What are one of the, the labs, apps, features that you're looking forward to using once you download it? Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button in the video. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. Then we can sit back chill out to see what's cracking. It's your man Brussels signing out. And until the next video, <laughs> I miss my flip. Wait for it.